Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and this is my latest deck experiment, where I experiment with a cool, interesting, or fun new deck idea. And this time around, I was looking to get some wins for Rogue, because it's the only class remaining that I don't have 500 wins with, or the Golden Hero. And I thought it might be nice to try a really fast version of Rogue, a super aggro pirate rogue with some of the new weapons and synergy cards that came out in Knights of the Frozen Throne. So that's exactly what I try to build live on stream. So let's go ahead and jump into that deck building experience. I just want rogue wins, but I don't want to play tier one decks. Is that so, is that so hard? Like I, I want free wins, but I don't want to play good decks to do it. Give me a break. I want to play bad decks, guys. No, I don't even want that. I don't want to play bad decks, not good decks. Why can't I'm here? Didn't do anything. Just approved a couple. <laughs> Haven't been paying attention. She sounded like so guilty there. It didn't do anything. <laughs> I felt really bad for her. That's funny. Yeah, no worries, jerks. Uh, I, I don't know. It's probably something Twitch is doing. Some weird. Twitch buggy nonsense, I'm sure. Just give me all of the busted damage cards. I want all the damages. Mm -hmm. If we run Edwin, we kind of need stuff like Backstab and Prep, to, or Counterfeit Coin even, to win games with Edwin occasionally, but then we also just don't have any cards. We just run out of cards at a just monumental pace. And without things like Fireworks to finish it off, I, we might need a couple big dudes. Might be a little too slow, these, though. I mean, they're never slow if you draw them in the right order, right? It's, it's when you draw them in the wrong order that they're too slow. You just don't have an Arcanite Reaper style weapon. That would be great. Maybe we take a Deadly for Dread Corsairs. I think Bone Mare's too slow. We gotta add Leroy. Let's build a really fast, just in-your-face pirate rogue deck. Let's see if this can win any games. No Flappy Bird, no Flappy Bird. Might be good, but... Just want to play fast. So fast! Yeah, Leroy, good suggestions, guys. Twitch is feeling particularly sensitive today. I, let me go check the settings. I'll try to do that later today after the stream. I, I was playing around. I don't think I changed anything, but I was, like, looking at it the other day. Maybe I accidentally changed something. Tankster. Let the hunt begin. What? Look at that beautiful early curve, guys. So good. Hi, boys. Hey, Rag Ice Lord, man. How's it going? Well... Uh, it's not great. It's okay. Could really use a 2-drop. We don't have that many 2-drops. That might be one fault with this deck. Although, clearly our hero power is solid in the deck. But we have Shadowblade on 3, so we need a 3-drop if we're going to hero power on 2. That'll do. That is what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and weapon charge through these uh, simply because we're planning on playing this eventually and we probably won't have time for that weapon. We might hold it into the Freebooter on 4 depending on what we need to kill or not kill here, but most likely South Sea Captain's going down next turn. What's this guy's deal? Not playing Alley Cat? Uh, this is shady. This has to be Control Hunter. There's no way. It's not. I think I'm going to Shadow Blade next turn. Even if it's off curve. We're going to play Flow to Mana every turn, maybe. But hopefully we get, like, a Deadly Poison or something. Sucks. Deadly Poison would be Clutch. Dread Corsair is also Clutch. Clutch. 
think we'll scale ban on five unless I have to use the weapon, in which case we'll uh, free boot. Just when one win to 13 losses feels bad, man. Yikes, man, already. That does feel bad, man. That's crazy. That's tough. Why Shadow Blade? The vulnerability doesn't matter to an aggro deck. Yeah, you're right, it doesn't. It's just fireworks to me. I'm not too worried about the, uh... Man, I really need to use the, uh, weapon charge here, so I don't think I can scale Bane. I think I have to freeboot. Feels a little, little awkward, but... It's not a beast, so I'm going to force him to make that awkward trade. I get punished a little bit by Eaglehorn Bow, because he gets traded at 6-4, but... That's an impressive arena run. <laughs> that is an impressive arena run. Oh my god, look at this garbage. What is this garbage? Unbelievable. Everyone's going to hit minions, too. Yep. Alright, well, it's slightly awkward for him, at least. He took forever to play cards there. It's so odd. So we have 8 damage in hand. If we can hit a Leroy, we have uh, 14 damage in hand. Otherwise, we're going to need something. Don't be taunt. Oh, Huffer's bad as well. Oh, those are some big whiffs. It cost him a minion, at least. What's a good draw for me here? Um, not really Phantom Freebooter, fortunately. Yeah, we pretty much lose. That uh, Hound's turn was too good. <clears throat> That's game ending. Oh, definitely game ending now. <laughs> we just literally can't kill that without taking 12 damage. Well, Shadow Blade is actually the best possible thing there. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, 6 8 damage. Do we ever out top deck this guy? If so, we can clear his board. It's not even really top decks, because he has two cards in hand already. I don't think we ever beat him using both of these, but maybe using one of them? I'm going to regret that a lot if we top deck Leroy next turn and it's lethal. <laughs> That's going to be real, real frustrating. Real frustrating. If we get Leroy here and I miss an opportunity to win the game, I'm going to rage quit Hearthstone forever. Oh god, close. <laughs> It's 810. Right. Um. I still don't think it's possible, but maybe if he ignores that, doesn't kill me, and we draw Leroy, it's possible. Eagle Horn Bow for lethal. Kill Command for lethal. Deadly shot for lethal. <laughs> Deadly shot missed face. <laughs> Leroy with the opposing knife juggler is risky. Yeah. A lot of risky things in that game. That's how we gotta play it though. If it wasn't for that knife juggler, that was the clutch card. Destroyed us. Hounds would have been that bad. We would have been able to keep some stuff on board. Push a little more damage. We floated a mana a couple times, it was rough. I don't like doing that. I feel like I haven't seen a Leroy um, knife juggler thing in forever. Because knife juggler really fell out of the meta. It's a rare card to see anymore. It used to be in everything. I was hoping for the rare deadly shot plus alley cat lethal with juggler. <laughs> that would have been good too. He got a lot of... That Knife Juggler probably did 10 damage that game, right? At least. Maybe more than that. Uh, did you already try Control Hunter since the release of Frozen Throne? Uh, maybe not like explicitly Control Hunter, but... Some stuff that looked like Control Hunter, I guess. More like mid-range, late 
mid range control hunter, perhaps. Okay. This is something. Play Grimscale. Chum. 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 Chum, chum, chum to chum. Play that chum. He played the chum. And thus I am happy. Ugh, that's, <laughs> that's not going to be helpful for me. I sure don't have any way to heal face. That is a throwaway. It's a 3-9, I guess. Which is such a cool stat allocation, by the way. We've never seen a minion with this sort of stat allocation. 3-9 is so split. It's very unusual. I think we can go ahead and do the Shadow Blade now. Get some Murloc off the board, which is really valuable, but also gives me some flexibility next turn. I can, like, Dread Corsair Eviscerate. I can just South Sea Captain if that looks better. We've got options. We probably want to hold this into the green skin if we can, but we might have to use the weapon, so we'll see. Okay. I mean, on the surface, South Sea Captain trade looks solid. But clearly, uh, Noble Sack disrupts that plan. I just beat a rogue deck that dropped Keliseth three times only to immediately lose to one. That played it twice. Hashtag feels badman. <laughs> well, if you beat the one, I mean, hey, that's an accomplishment. The second one, I guess, was some salt in the wound, or at least uh, not really in the wound, but a little bit of revenge. It wasn't the same guy, was it? That'd be pretty funny. Deadly poison. Could be insane. It makes this free, which means we can play Eviscerate as well. But we pretty much have to hold... If we Deadly Poison, we have to hold the weapon until a green skin. We're, like, committing to that line. I guess let's just test for Noble Sack. Okay, not Noble Sack. So I think we're, we're gonna do this. Now I'm gonna feel bad about Redemption, though. I guess I don't have to play the Eviscerate. I was gonna eviscerate, but redemption's weird. No, I think it's still right. Even redemption's okay. But we would have preferred to hit it with that. Getaway Kodo. Getaway Kodo is especially okay. Alright. So, Captain on four looks solid. Ugh. Ugh. Where's an eviscerate when you need it, guys? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta save. I gotta save my weapon here. I think, right? It's too good with green skin, guys. It's, it's, it's not. It's honestly not better than a four-four on board, though. So I guess we don't save it. Four-four on board is always better than a plus-one weapon charge. Hey, Regis. Sorry, I'm late. Glad to see you hit legend. Just unlocked my golden paladin. It feels good. Nice, man. Congrats. Man, if only we had some sort of way to kill that with a five attack minion or weapon. <laughs> uh, we have to continuously clear this board here, especially going into turn six of all turns. Do we want to use the small guys or the big guy? I guess we use the small guys. Okay. Green skin looks solid next turn. That's not much of a concern for me. That's fine. It's gonna war leader, it looks like. It's gonna be a 4 4 war leader. Nope. No war leader. Okay. We're gonna have a bit of a dilemma here. I think we have to go face, though, right? There's a chance we draw a lethal. I'm not mistaken. Deadly poison plus green skin is nuts. It's bonkers good. Repentance. Nope. Well, I guess we just try for lethal, right? Okay, not lethal. 
So now the question is, do we kill anything or not? Um... I really wish I had killed this with my weapon. But I didn't want to take minion damage for free either. Just put him on it. There's a lot of ways to kill him from there. The weapon itself kills him from there. Uh, the curator is a pain in my butt though. So he can clear this. We should still be close if not there. Yeah, we should just have lethal. He can't kill this, so we just face tank that and hit him for five. It's just game, yeah. Cool. Yay! We won a game! <laughs> Yay. Uh, hey, reason to like your streams and YouTube vids. Keep them coming, you rock. Thanks, uh, E underscore Wheezy. Appreciate the uh, kind words, dude. Did you play an arena earlier? Yeah, we did. We had a little bit of trouble. Started off strong, but fell flat pretty quick. Did not turn out to be a great run, I don't think. Or great deck, I should say. We just have about some old school Malagos Rogue. Can you do old school Malagos Rogue anymore? I feel like losing Emperor Thoris unkilled a lot of your Malagos Rogue options. As far as the old school route goes. At least in standard format. I don't know how to build Malagos Rogue in standard right now. Barnes shenanigans, maybe. Seems hard. Same. No, oh, we played this guy earlier. When did we play this guy? I remember his name. I wanted to call him Bill. I got Nimsy yesterday. Nice, Guadalupe. How did your uh, How did the experience go? Was it easy? Hard? I'm curious. I have not tried it, and I'm not exactly anxious to try it. So, very curious how it, how it goes. If we were on coin, this hand would be so much better. We coin weapon into blood sail, followed up with uh, South Sea on three with something else probably. <sighs> Let's just play minions. They're good against Druid, especially pre-spreading plague. We can just follow up with the captain and maybe even just the freebooter for a three-three. The captain here is going to be nuts though. Coin Jade. Yeah, that's fine. Swipe here is okay. It's good for him, but not amazing. We still have uh, four damage on board. Wrath is even less good. Well, actually, this is kind of about the same, I guess, really. Ends up, oh, not if you don't kill him in, though. Sure thing. I like that. It's my build. It's a build your own uh, Arcanite Reaper on turn four. So he has to deal with the board or he's dead. Spreading Plague is really good right now. Of course, always is. We could kill two of them, but only two. There's the swipe, okay. Uh, Freebooter coming down here is going to be pretty fun. It's an 8-4. I'd love to hit a one drop with it. Shadow Blade again. Hope you're, hope you're holding that second swipe, buddy. <laughs> uh, I like this deck. Yeah, it's fun. It's fast. It's easy. Yeah, not necessarily easy. There's some tough decisions from time to time, but... Uh, <laughs> that's really good. Oh my god, cold blood. <laughs> I think we'll solve, save that cold blood for some like just ridiculous outs. This has enough attack. It's an 11-3. Go ahead and hero power it for me, dude. Just hero power that down. He's already used a wrath and a swipe. Does he have another card that does those sorts of things? Is the question. Looks like spreading plague incoming. Go ahead and face tank that 11-3, man. It's not going to hurt you. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, so Leroy is not actually lethal yet, right? Or no, Leroy is lethal, I think, right? So we put this to 15. 
This is a 14, yeah. I didn't actually have it on board. He had to see the cold blood before it was lethal. Jeez. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, we're winning games. This was the goal. Meat wagon, cold blood into Malagos. I have heard people trying that a little bit. Malagos plus Shadow Step to reduce the cost into an OTK. I, I mean, yeah, it's possible, I guess, but that's a lot of mana committed to... You basically spend nine mana to, to do nothing for a turn. Yeah, there's not many games where you could afford to do that. I guess, I mean, you just need to survive for one turn to make that work. Because you'd have the... Assumably, presumably you'd be able to kill them the following turn, right? So... Here's that hand we were talking about with the coin. Coin weapon into blood sail. Uh, does Shadow Blade change that at all? I don't think so. He's going to play a Swash Burglar that we can kill with a weapon anyway. So we're getting value on the back end of it. And then we can just Shadow Blade on three. Or a Patches. Same difference. I like this. We pull our patches out, so we basically summon four, four, and stats on two. He's just gonna weapon here. Uh, could have a backstab weapon. What is this? He he thought this was a playable card. It's clearly not a Kelisat, though. That's going down. I don't know. That was odd. I'm actually using the weapon charge here because we're shadow blading on three, 99% of the time. So, what would we like to see? There's the backstab, and an SI, that's fine, we'll do that with the Shadow Blade, play into Naga Corsair on 4, maybe actually Freebooter on 4, we'll have to see what looks better. He had a nice opening hand, I mean the patches in hand sucked of course, but the backstab SI was so clutch at stabilizing the board for him, really valuable. Rebooter looks a little too susceptible there to me. I, I want this to be better later. Although, are we ever going to have another weapon that's better than this one is the question. This going to 4 attack is not relevant. We could actually just Blood Sail Raider plus double deckhand here. Clear the board and uh, go face 4-2. Four, could also just go face for everything. Makes the Blood Cell Raider less likely to live is the problem. But he'd have to face tank it, presumably, too. Ugh. People who say aggro decks don't have decisions are... I, I just think that's wrong, because I have... Th there's a lot of decisions this turn. We have three different plays we could make here. Four, really, with the hero power. Or, actually, there's a lot of permutations based on just floating mana, but... Assuming you spend all your mana, there's four reasonable plays. I think I like this Blood Sail a little bit better than the Freebooter. Because we get the flexibility of these deck hands, right? And I think... He's kind of out of gas, so... Honestly, I'm just going to do this and hold the weapon. Because the weapon's so good with Freebooter and decent with Naga Corsair if we need to kill something that has 4 health. That's annoying. At least he takes five, though. That's the plan, anyway. Yeah, that's good. So he's just re-weaponing? That's his whole turn? Oh, beautiful. Perfect! Do it again. Now you've got to do it again. But on a harder-to-kill thing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold the weapon again, guys. What is this deck? This is uh, just an aggro pirate rogue I made in three seconds. Ugh, Vile Spine is so good! But we can kill the Vile Spine, that's fine. Ooh, baby, that's good. That is a juicy draw. Now we need to draw a South Sea Captain. Best draw on the deck. <laughs> oh, this weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, god, I can't take it. It's too good. It's it's honestly too good. 
It's too good. Missing the evening bonus dreams where I get to tell you about my dinners. Made pizza last night. Best toppings ever. Kalamata olives plus mushrooms plus bacon. And I'm having tortellini for breakfast from Monday's dinner. Nice, Jerks. Uh, yeah, I'll be streaming tonight, Jerks, is the plan, so... T tonight, tomorrow night, of course. Uh, the No bonus streams, you're right. But back to the regular scheduled nights this evening. Uh, the pizza sounds good minus the olives. I'm just not an olive guy, but I could definitely handle some mushrooms and bacon. And you, it seems like you have tortellini a lot. I love tortellini. I'm jealous. I gotta figure out where I'm going tonight for dinner. I wonder where we're gonna eat dinner tonight. We're going out to eat somewhere, I think, but I don't know where. I need to hurry, because i got to make it home in time for the stream. we got to go to dinner, and we got to buy groceries between when I finish work and, and when the stream starts this evening. I'm probably going to end up being late. I was last week when the same thing happened. This, this only happens certain weeks when she's not at work and we have to eat and stuff. Like, it doesn't always line up this way, but it has lined up this way a couple times in a row. Wasn't hungry, now I am. No joke, I'm getting hungry too. Tortellinis are easy go-to when we can't decide what to make. This is the worst hand we've had yet. This is not a good start. This is really, 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 really bad. Oh boy. It's a token. Uh, sure. Gonna save the charge for Deadly. I can choose between Hunter Druid and Warlock. What should I pick in a new arena? I think Druid's always a pretty good bet. What a jerk, dude. I have a Deadly Poison, man. That's my whole thing. No way. Good god. I think we have to uh, Shadow Blade now. Welcome! Deadly plus South Sea. <laughs> You're an okay guy. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I appreciate it so much, Shagwagon. That's awesome. Thanks for the seriously though. Thanks for the two month resub, Shagwagon. That is awesome. That's amazing. Uh, I hate this so much. We're straight up just so dead. We don't have. We need to be way ahead on the board to win this game, and we're instead way behind on the board. Uh, Deadly Edwin is pretty okay here. It sucks that uh, we're only getting one charge out of this Deadly Poison, but we kind of have to. I need him to just draw air. I don't. It's just not possible though. He's. <laughs> If that's four or five drops right now, it would be good for this turn, but it's still, I just lose the game because I can't beat his five drops. I can't beat Hydra's and I can't beat Living Mana's. So what does it matter? Weapon Deckhand clears the, uh, Dire Wolf. I like that he's hero powering and trading. That's helpful, but... Do we have a Patches yet? I don't think we played a Patches yet, did we? Okay. This may be the worst turn in the history of the universe, but... <laughs> but we're not dead. <laughs> uh, so, Living Mana, obviously instant kill. Bitter Tide, instant game over. I, I, can't, I can't imagine what four cards don't just win in the game here. Crypt Lord's pretty good. Galaka Crawler is, of course, obscene. <laughs> Technically alive. Let's just uh, let's just make it fun. <laughs> I forgot it was getting the health. Not that it matters, but I totally forgot it was gaining two health. I thought that was a clear. <laughs> great, great combo against Druid. Uh, this is why Hunter sucks. Druid does Hunter things, but better. Oh yeah, Druid is silly. I, I still can't believe I gave Token Druid so many great tools in Frozen Throne. It was already a great deck, and then they gave it Crypt Lord and Druid of the Swarm. 
both just I mean Crypt Lord is the dream card for Token Druid. It's just silly. It's it's broken. Any player who plays standard over wild is limiting their own Hearthstone experience in favor of playing a less competitive format that bows down to the corporate greed of Activision shareholders and Ben Brode's dictatorship. Be a real Hearthstone player and just go and play wild. <laughs> um, I don't really know that that's true. First off, I mean, to play wild right now, if you're a new player, you have to buy cards from a billion sets. And you... It's really prohibitively expensive to get the breadth of cards you need to be a competitive player in Wild. Uh, standard format, I think, is is in some ways not greedy because, it, well, at least for new players. The, the math all changes for long-term players, of course, because they phase out cards you spent money on. I, I understand that. But for new players, I don't think standard's bad at all. I think that's the design of it. But for me, it's, uh, I like, it's, you know, I, I played with... I, I miss Lothab and Rag and Sylvanas, don't get me wrong, but I played with them for years and years and years. And uh, I, I think I see more new cards in standard format than I see in Wild, right? Or at least a, a greater percentage of the cards I see in this format are cards I'm less familiar with, which is fun for me. Not to mention, as a content creator, in a lot of ways, I'm kind of just encouraged to play standard because that's what people focus on, on average more the predominant format <sighs> plus there are some just cards that I, I hate seeing and I, I know they're eventually going to move to wild that gives me some solace like jade idol if i only ever play standard i will never have to see jade idol again it's going to be the best day of my life <laughs> april 2018 can't come here fast enough Uh, I'm doing fine, Drengar Blar, this morning. How about yourself? I, uh, I've been sick. I'm just sick today. I don't know, well, yesterday too. Got a sore throat. Feels just a little... Ooh. Did you do Duel Arena already, and did you enjoy it? I did. Uh, I enjoyed it yesterday. I didn't enjoy it quite so much today. It's a tough, tough losses to some Pyroblast shenanigans, but it was still fun drafting and everything. Guadalupe says, I found a Nimsy Tavern, got there, connect, go into one game, insta concede, unlock Nimsy, and go home. Nice, dude. Is this the same guy we just played? It is, right? I think he was Rexon both times, if I remember right. He just conceded. Cool. Get me those, get me to 500, Rexon is. Taking some sacrifices to get me there. Well, that doesn't sound hard, Guadalupe. It's the finding the tavern, I think, that's a challenge for a lot of people, though, unfortunately. Are we actually going to get to play Hearthstone? <laughs> not really. <laughs> he might be here. We might, we might technically get to play, but not really. He's just gonna freeze this out. We won't get to play. <laughs> Maybe it's Secret Mage. Maybe we will get to play. He had a beautiful opening hand last game. This one's far more awkward. I wish we could trade our opening hands. Of course, we mulligan beautifully in the one game we don't get to play. <laughs> the mulligans are otherwise awful. Finding the taverns is hard on the Fireside websites. It really doesn't tell you which is dumb. Yeah. It is hard, and not everybody has one even remotely close to, which also sucks. No, we're never trading into anything this game. I do not have a good turn three. Desperately need South Sea Captain. Oh my god, is this really my turn three? Oh, so bad. I don't have a good turn four either. This is just unbelievable. Naga Corsair is the best draw on the deck, I think. Cold blood. This is so bad.
So bad. I maybe should have put that on the 2-3, but he's going to ping and trade anyway, so... Kind of wanted to split the resources to some extent. Because now the 2-2 just doesn't accomplish much on top of the ping. Like, what does it do? Trades into a 2-3? Okay. And then everything kills the 2-2 anyway, so... And, of course, I took the 2-2 the buff on Edwin over the 2-0 buff. Or the, the, excuse me. I, I wanted more health as opposed to more damage there, so I'm trying to say. Everything's like a turn late, man. Only because I'm actually willing to attack that am I making this play. Alright. Probably not going to get there. He's had plenty of time. We need him to be at like 6 right now. We need next turn to be the lethal turn. 7, 9, 10. Oh, it maybe could be actually. This plus this is, is uh, enough. So we might actually be fine. Frost Nova's not good. Okay. Barrier is bad, of course, but we can maybe pop the ice block and put him on a really tight clock here. Aha. Barrier, okay. Gotta have it. Just played Malagos Rogue in Wild versus Quest Mage. Got Molten Reflection and Ice Block. So I ended up out-questing the mage. That's nice, man. It, it does feel pretty good to get um, Ice Block against a Quest Mage because it really disrupts their plans. It's rare, but it, when it happens, it's beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, we need to do seven. So this one. Then this one. in this one all right so uh, we have to make him think the board in my face matters even though it doesn't matter and then because uh, we're just gonna eviscerate his face but we'll still lose this game somehow even though he's only at zero out of six <laughs> and he's at one health with with uh, with no ice block cap, we'll still lose. That's, you know, standard uh, quest mage shenanigans happening. No, nah, he's digging deep. He doesn't have anything. Even an ice block now, it's like, how do you get there? Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. Pirate Rogue, have you seen success with this deck? Um, Pirate Rogue is right, yeah. Let's check the stats. So far, we are 67% win rate in ranked. Four and two, so yeah, actually, it's pretty good. 67% win rate at, uh, you know, Legend is not bad at all. Make that... Uh, Make that 5 and 2. 71% win rate. It's actually really, really good. I mean, small sample size, of course, but we uh, are winning a lot of games. One, I guess one of those was free, so actually 4 and 2 is more accurate. I think we won one where the guy was just gone, so... 67% or whatever it was is probably more, more accurate. And there you go, that was the aggro pirate rogue. That deck can win some games very very quickly i'm not sure it's the most consistent deck in the world maybe not the best high legend ladder kind of deck but if you're looking to get rogue wins maybe climbing lower on the ladder rank 20 to rank 10 i bet this deck could find some success all that said if you have any thoughts comments questions of course leave those in the comments below but until then thank you so much for watching and until next time game on